video oh, I am going to show you how to find gap or problem in perovskite solar cell. In my previous video I talked about generally broadly about uh, uh, solar cell technology and I compare uh, the perovskite solar cell with silicon based solar cell right. But in this video particularly I am going to show you how to find gap or problem in perovskite solar cell. This is a perovskite solar cell architecture. This is the body embodiment of perovskite solar cell students. Basically look the structure we just put glass basically or transparent conducting oxide glass right. Uh, it must be conducting otherwise electron cannot collect and after that we put compact titania then after that we put mesoporous titania this is we call ETL electron transport layer. After that we put perovskite. this is a perovskite CH3NE3PBI3 this is lead right and after that we deposit whole transport layer and this is the final layer this is called gold right this is the basic structure. When the sunlight shine on perovskite this is the heart of the uh, sol uh, perovskite solar cell this is a perovskite so when the, the solar light um, the, the, the light uh, 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 strike on the perovskite so there we just <coughs> produce electron hole pair right. So holes moving in their direction if you say hole are moving right while the electron are moving toward this mesoporous titania this is the whole game we just dissociate uh, electron hole pair here and now uh, look here we can target uh, so many places for example don't target this goal for example you can also work on this goal that goal is expensive or something you can also find problem problem here you can find you can you but you need to study you can use alternative hole transport layer that is also your problem you can also use some zirconium uh, some uh, zinc oxide here uh, instead of titania so but you need to show the problem in the current existing materials for example if you want to find alternative per spiro so you must need to find a problem in spiro right i know problem in this uh, perovskite this perovskite basically if you look here so this perovskite basically contain lead and this lead is hazardous for the environment this is a heavy metal and we know all heavy metals are hazardous right so it can pre create problem I will show that wh what are the material we can replace this lead by that material but let's see the working principle of <coughs> this uh, perovskite solar cell or disensitized solar cell this is our FTO this is this is our uh, ETL this is the dye basically this is the whole transport layer and this is the counter electrode right so basically what happened when we shine the light here we just produce hole and electron right now <coughs> if you say that now this electron will jump to this titania and it will go through outer circuit and it will come and it will again meet with this hole right or it's up to you or you say that hole come here and this redox reaction occur here and it again regenerate the dye and the dye again or uh, the perovskite again come to its original form let's see here basically this electron start here you see here you see here these electrons are coming here yes you see now look here lead can be replaced with 10 sn <coughs> because if you go there so these two are uh, the same group material the same property so people already done a lot of work but the efficiency using with for example if you are using uh, a is for methyl ammonium B is per lead and this is per halogen X3 Cl or something okay. So you this is C3 Na3 methyl ammonium so this is the lead so you have to replace this with Sn but keep in mind that when we using lead so the efficiency is almost now 25 percent right 25 percent of perovskite solar cell but when we use 10 oxide 10 oxide so the efficiency is only what I understand and what I know according to my knowledge is only 9%. So you just need to keep in mind that 
you need to tell the audience tell the community that despite the efficiency is very very high but for long term this lead is harmful for the environment and people will not recommend it particularly for uh, western countries or developed country uh, will think that this is very very hazardous for the health okay for example you see how it is hazardous for the health for example in the industry if you are working in a mass production if you are working for a large production so there you are removing there you you are using lead and lead uh, you you have to uh, create some raw or dirt material and you have to throw it somewhere so this create environmental issue lead and this is a very very well known uh, issue that lead is hazardous and you can replace that with sn but the efficiency is very very low so this is your problem you find the problem and you can write a proposal or you can write your problem statement and you can go for your study so if you increase the efficiency beyond that this means that you are doing great work your point is clear you can write that despite the fact that lead based pyroxide solar cell shows tremendous performance and the efficiency is about 25 percent but there is an issue the issue is lead is toxic toxic and heavy metal and it create a problem in the environment so there is an, a solution there is an, a replacement of 10 10 is the same group uh, element and we can replace 10 by uh, lead right so this was all about a uh, simple problem uh, that how to find a particular problem in uh, pyroxide solar cell